Dalai Lama 14, The Leader's Way, Business, Buddhism and Happiness in an Interconnected World. Embark on a journey through The Leader's Way, Business, Buddhism and Happiness in an Interconnected World by Dalai Lama 14 and discover the pivotal role of leadership in creating a harmonious work environment. In this summary, you'll explore total quality control, TQC, principles, learn the key competencies of effective leaders, and understand the significance of systems, people, and data in the realm of management. By delving deep into systems thinking, eliminating waste, and enhancing your knowledge about people, you will be better poised to lead your team towards success and happiness. Deming's Blueprint for Quality General Douglas MacArthur's invitation to W. Edwards Deming to teach total quality control TQC, techniques to Japanese manufacturers became the blueprint for quality. Deming's main point was that everything forms part of a larger system, including manufacturers, customers, and suppliers. Japanese manufacturers embraced Deming's teachings and perfected them, making quality, cooperation, and trust essential elements of their corporate culture. By improving products and processes, companies could decrease costs and increase market share. In the 1980s, many American manufacturers traveled to Japan to learn the business strategies that helped Japan become a global leader in quality manufacturing. The Competencies of Good Leaders Businesses often follow fads like empowering people, creating self-directed workgroups, and motivating workers. However, these initiatives are inefficient without good systems. For efficient systems, good leadership is necessary. This book teaches that the primary competencies of good leaders are having a systems mentality, knowledge of human behavior, understanding variability, PDSA orientation, and exemplifying profound knowledge. Managers need to think of groups as systems to improve performance. They also need to understand their direct reports and trust them. Reliable data helps distinguish between common cause and special cause variations that affect productivity. Following the PDSA cycle is a practical way to adapt and improve. A good manager should focus on learning rather than dictating to their team. When managers combine all four competencies, it's called profound knowledge. Good leadership provides efficient systems, enabling businesses to succeed. The importance of being a systems person. As a manager, it's essential to think in terms of systems and their interdependencies. Deming's SIPIC model, suppliers, input, processes, output, customers, is a useful framework for understanding the dynamics of business systems. Successful systems incorporate subsystems, methods, and steps to create value for customers. Being mindful of this holistic approach can help managers drive process improvements and achieve better outcomes for their organizations. Achieving Fluid Rhythm Jemba, a Japanese word, refers to the synchronization of resources and work in music, dance, sports, and business processes. According to manufacturing engineer Bill Warner, Jemba is when a team is really in a groove. More than 95% of an organization's problems stem from systems, processes, and methods rather than individual workers. To promote Jemba, reduce anxiety and boredom among direct reports, standardize best practices, eliminate waste, and develop feedback mechanisms. By designing workflow, identifying primary players and critical functions, gathering resources, putting purpose uppermost, and monitoring input, managers can create Jemba to achieve fluid rhythm. Track Jemba using flowcharts such as the PERT chart, which maps workflows and time, as well as the Opportunity flowchart and the Deployment flowchart. Since the beginning of the Industrial Revolution, managers have continuously focused on individual accountability for results. Jemba, on the other hand, emphasizes the importance of fluid rhythm, synchronized movement, and teamwork. Note, 197 words. Unveiling the essence of business purpose. Successful businesses have a clear purpose. Without it, they stumble and make decisions based on overly simplistic solutions. Downsizing is not the answer to effective management. 
systems thinking is necessary to resolve complex problems. To lead a company, its purpose must be clear, as well as its goals, values, and beliefs. Great management always starts with knowing the company's essence and sharing it with all stakeholders. Achieving breakthrough improvement in your organization. Learn how to achieve breakthrough improvement in your organization by following these seven steps. Take a step back to see the big picture, examine capabilities, define the ideal future, create a plan, get to work, evaluate and research, and integrate findings. Resist the urge to win over resistors of change and focus on influential people for support. Remember, effectiveness is doing the right thing, and efficiency is doing things right. Measuring progress. To measure your progress, you need data, which comes in the form of opinion, observable, results, and process data. The book lists the eight steps to gather data effectively, which includes defining your goal, deciding what to measure, identifying the purpose of the process, fitting specific measurements into the broader picture, creating operational definitions, determining how to collect the data, and developing the data by starting small and working up. This summary provides practical insights on how to measure progress and make data-driven decisions. Effective management, from blame to improvement. Decades ago, the traditional management approach involved pointing fingers when things go wrong. This mentality only created negative results. Managers should opt for a how approach instead of a who approach when addressing issues. They should ask questions such as, how can the organization improve operations, and achieve its goals? Additionally, leaders should deeply probe issues to get to the root of the problem. Lastly, it is vital for managers to establish clear expectations for their team to avoid any confusion. By using these tactics, managers can effectively lead their team towards a positive outcome. Trusting employees for success. Psychologist B.F. Skinner's carrot and stick method may work for jackasses but not for employees, yet his ideas still shape many companies' attitudes towards employees. This results in low morale, terrible performance, cynicism, high turnover, and further demoralization. To break this cycle, leaders must show a genuine interest in their employees and promote lifelong learning instead of using performance appraisals. Rather than focusing on employees, organizations should focus on fixing the system when workers are unmotivated. Simplistic answers to complex issues must be avoided. Trusting employees can lead to better performance and overall organizational success. Great leadership, a simple approach. Effective leadership means accommodating the needs of those who need to be led. The word dismal comes from Latin, meaning bad day, don't be a dismal leader. Instead, be purposeful, focused, respectful, and knowledgeable about your business. Great leadership is just that simple. As we conclude our exploration of The Leader's Way, take away the importance of melding together systems, people, data, and profound knowledge to excel as a leader. Embrace continuous improvement through effective use of the PDSA, plan, do, study, act a cycle, and be versatile to better understand the needs of different stakeholders. With a strong focus on systems thinking, practice Jemba, the smooth flow of resources and work. By identifying critical work functions, standardizing best practices, and developing feedback mechanisms. Refrain from resorting to simplistic solutions for complex issues and be an exemplary leader by accommodating the needs of those who seek your guidance.